Kinsley, what is this? Chicken. Oh, so close. Turkey. Turkey. Turkey, good job. Is this what we're going to eat for Thanksgiving? Gobble, 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 gobble. No. Oh, did that scare you? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry he scared you. Do you want to give him a kiss? <laughs> give him a kiss. <laughs> gobble, 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 gobble. No. <laughs> okay, we won't do that anymore. <laughs> Excited? You throw it. Uh, yeah. Uh, mm, can you throw it? Uh, oh. Uh, <laughs> Good job. Good morning, you guys. I am home from Bible study, and Kinsey is down for a nap. Callie woke up a little bit early. Um, but I was telling you that I was going to give you a little bit every week of what something that I like one little takeaway. So we're doing this Bible study and I think my personal biggest takeaway was how much our society prides themselves on busyness and how we're constantly in conversation and saying, I'm so busy. I'm just so busy. I, I'm so busy. And we almost like feel like that's a good thing that that means we're super productive and we're super busy. But it was just more of a reminder of like, why do we pride ourselves on being so busy? Like, why is that such a good thing? And how important it is to have rest times and how like every week we should have time to be restful and have a Sabbath day. And she was talking about sometimes we have just so much stuff that it's hard to rest or it's also hard to focus on the good things that we have when, we have, we're, when we're focused on so many things. And her example she had was she needed to get a certain shirt out of her closet and she just like couldn't push the clothes far enough aside to even just get that shirt out. And then she showed at the very end of her closet, oh no, oh don't rip it. She was showing at the end of her closet, she had like a hanger full of belts, but I mean like a bunch of bunch of belts and she was saying you know how many do we really actually need and the whole study was amazing but those were like my two biggest takeaways so right after the study I went over to a friend's house and she gave me some hand-me-downs we were just talking about how we only had hand-me-downs up to like a two toddler and she just gave me a whole bunch of hand-me-downs for three toddler and so I have been organizing and putting that away into a box. And I feel like a lot of these are going to be really cute. We have some swimsuits in here. We have like a jean jacket, some really cute, just like basic shirts. So, uh -uh, Kelly, no, we're not gonna pull them all out. That would cause not rest. Can you say not rest? That's not peaceful when mommy folds them all and then we have to keep them put away. What do you think about that? Say, hey, um, that was my fun game and you just closed it. <laughs> so I got all these hand-me-downs, which are great, and I really went through and decided, do I really want to take this and use it as like a piece for the future or am I just collecting because she's giving clothes away? So I was very determined to, I went through like seven boxes and that's all I ended up with, like was just like a handful of items that I think that I will use, but that got me on a kick. And yes, it's organization day. <laughs> Hi, Smiley. So my method of organizing used to be just like different age ranges and then have a box. Well, I decided I didn't need a zero to three, a three to six, like a nine month box, a 12 month box. That's what I used to have. And I feel like that is just too many clothes. And everyone can be different, everyone can have a different opinion. You know, if you have it for free, then why don't you just keep it all? It just, I don't need all this stuff. And it actually feels like it bogs me personally down. And I like to declutter. I um, am friends with Micah Stoffer. She's another YouTuber here, but sh she has her vlog channel, but she also has her personal channel. And on her personal channel, 
she does a lot of KonMari and like cleaning and decluttering and I told her I'm like I watch those and they help me out so much it gives me so much motivation and that's what I feel like I'm getting started with at least with the girls clothes so how do I organize I do zero to six months now which sounds crazy because newborn was so adorable I had a whole box for newborn and I just oh you're eating a toothbrush I heard so I, <laughs> I am determined to tell you guys how I organize because it helps me to see how other people do it so I have a zero to six month box and right now I am doing my six to 12 month box and that's the box that Callie has just outgrown. All of this stuff, all of these jackets, all of the pajamas that are already in the box, there's a lot and I feel I could fold them up really nice and tight and try to cram as many clothes in there or I can really try to determine which ones I really want, which ones I really need and which ones I can let go and guess what guys? I am very proud to say <laughs> that I have already let go of this entire pile. Okay, these were so cute. Yeah, I have learned practicality is important to me. <laughs> Denim and a 12 month old, like I've tried to get these on Kinsley and I tried to get these on Callie and they are just difficult. I feel like once they're walking and they can kind of stand up and you can kind of pull the pants up, maybe it would be a little bit easier. But even when Kinsley was walking, I didn't love these. So anyways, I am letting these go, even though they're really, really cute. So someone can go get these at the consignment shop because they're practically brand new and I almost never wore them. I almost never wore them. My kids almost never wore them. I am getting rid of all of that stuff and I'm going to go through all of these and make sure that there's nothing that I am keeping that I'm not excited to put on my next kid. Daddy. And my motivation is, again, the bucket list family because they only have like five outfits per person. So we don't even need this many, but they're cute, so we'll keep some of them. Are you brushing your teeth? Show me how you brush your teeth. Brush a brush a brush a brush a toothpaste. Brush a brush a brush a. Do, 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 do. I don't know the song very well. Should we watch Grease? Yeah. 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 Oh, we bite it. Eh. Eh. Oh. Oh. I love your sounds right now, Callie. Bye. You want to say bye? What do you think? Do you want to say bye? Say bye. <laughs> like she's totally standing. On <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Climb on. Climb on. Climb on, my little monkey. She's been doing this. I've been <laughs> doing something with Kinsley, maybe putting Kinsley's shoes on, and she will come over to me and like crawl on top of me while I'm trying to like tie shoes in front of me. It's hysterical. I wish sometimes I could vlog when we're doing some of those crazy jungle gym <laughs> things, but mommy only has two hands. So sometimes we don't get to vlog some of those fun moments that mommy wants to remember, but I can tell you about them and then I will remember looking back years from now when you're big. Huh, too fast. It's way too fast, guys. Way too fast. Say bye. Bye. With her hand held up. <laughs> bye. Kinsley's first two words were uh-oh and up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, good job, Callie. Uh-oh. Callie's uh -oh. kind of been saying uh -oh. that too, so that might be close to one of her first words. But Kinsley's first words were uh-oh and up. And I feel like her personality, that's very um, applicable. Like, she doesn't like to be messy. She doesn't like dirt on her hands. If something, she, she's a rule follower. She will let me know if Callie is misbehaving. She's um, very obedient. She, you know, listens when we ask her to do things. She wants to be a helper. Like she'll see me cleaning the house. She'll go get her pretend cleaning supplies and come play with me. Um, so anyways, I feel like uh-oh is very applicable to being her first word. Uh-oh. And then her second word was up because she very much loves 
to be cuddled and held. Callie, on the other hand, is very independent, on the go. So it's funny, her first word is dada, because she's a daddy's girl, so that's applicable. And then bye, she's always like so busy and such a climber that I feel like she's constantly gonna be like, um, I'm going in the other room, bye! Huh, ouch, you hit my head. You hit my head. Hi, Squish. Just please don't destroy my piles because mommy's been working like an hour sorting everything. Um, is this how you're gonna help me? Miss Climber, Miss Busybody. Climb, climb, climb. Always climbing, huh? I think we officially can say you've climbed before you've walked. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, are we ready for a really quick Alex getting it all done? Ready? Go. bags um, divided so even though this box is 6 to 12 months I have the bag separating like a little bit more specific so I have six month jammies nine month jammies and 12 month jammies in these bags and then six month clothes six to 12 months clothes and 12 month clothes and then jackets from six to 12 months just so um, I'll just pull all of these out all at once. Yay! I don't feel like I need more than one box for a six month period of my kid's life. I think we did a really good job kind of picking out specific items and look at my giveaway pile. Oh, I'm, so, I'm so happy, I'm so happy, I'm so happy. Does anyone yeah. else get like excitement when they give a bag of stuff away? I do. I drop it off and I feel like I can just, oh, it just feels like I can breathe. Less stuff. Say less is more sometimes, but not in kisses. Not in kisses. More is always more. More is always more. Hey. I see. Hi. Ba. 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 Callie. <laughs> Callie. <laughs> Callie. <laughs> I have a question. Can you say mama? Can you say mama? Ah. Ah. Getting there. <laughs> Come on. Push her. You guys. You can push her. Keep going. Push, push, push. You guys, Kinsley's having so much fun. She's going to hit me. Whoa. Okay, keep going. Push, push, push. You're doing so good. Who's such a big girl? Are you? Yeah. You're the big girl. So every now and then, uh, when we have time and when schedule allows, uh, I like to take the girls out so mommy can have some time at home alone. Um, Alex likes to kind of clean and just organize and just kind of rest and just feel like, and just kind of get a weight off of life. And so every now and then, uh, what I like to do is actually bless Alex by taking the girls out so that she can be at home by herself and just kind of get some mommy time. So. I'm out with the girls tonight and we are getting, yes, toilet paper. Why? Because we ran out and we have a quarter of a roll left. Are you ready? Did you Tootsie? Yeah. Callie, did you? Yeah. Sometimes when I go out without Alex, I forget that I don't have the diaper bag. Shh, don't tell anybody. Are you jumping? Dad, you watch me. I'm watching you. Push your cart. Okay, come on. Push cart. You gonna push the cart? Are you yeah. gonna jump off there? One, two, three, jump! You big girl. You can push her. Okay. Kinsley, guess what? We found the toilet paper. Say good job, Dada. 
Uh, here's the thing about toilet paper. Callie, is this gonna be good enough? Uh, we just bought Target brand because I don't know what kind of toilet paper Alex gets. Actually, I do. It's from Costco, but we're not at Costco, so we're getting the cheapest stuff we possibly can until we do go to Costco. This should last, I don't know, a week or two? Or three or four? You did it! Let's do this one. Let's do this one? Okay. Let's do that one. Ready? Good job. Okay, one, two, three, jump. Boop. I think we should do this all night. Callie, we need to go to the bathroom to change you. You um, you smell rather potent. Did Callie go in her pants? Yes. Yes? You used to do that too, huh? But then you potty trained yourself in three days. I don't know how you did that, but you're super yeah. smart. Do we need anything else, Callie? Do you know? Okay, I want to test Kinsley's knowledge. Everybody, don't yell out loud what this is, because Kinsley will hear you. I want to see if she knows what this is. Kinsley! Kinsley! What is this? Bumblebee. This is a bumblebee? Yeah. No. What is it? Chicken. Oh, so close it is in the chicken family. What is it? <laughs> Rooster. Rooster. Also in the chicken and rooster Cock family. Cockadoo, cockadoo, cockadoo. And take my shirt off. Guys, we have to censor those things. Kinsley, what is this? Chicken. Oh, so close. Turkey. Turkey. Turkey, good job. Is this what we're gonna eat for Thanksgiving? Gobble, 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 gobble. No. Oh, that scare you? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry he scared you. Do you want to give him a kiss? <laughs> give him a kiss. Yeah. Mm. Gobble, 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 gobble. No. <laughs> okay, we won't do that anymore. <laughs> okay, say bye, turkey. We'll see you at Thanksgiving. Say bye, turkey. See you at Thanksgiving. Bye, turkey. Okay, everybody. Okay, we did it. You saw we were in Target. Then we went to Chipotle. We got some dinner. And this is a lot of work to tote to around. I think I can only go to like two or three places at once in like one an hour with these kiddos. If you're toting the kids around, how long does it take you to go to like three places? Um, or two places? It's forever. But guess what? Welcome home, us. Mom, mommy's here. You see mommy? Okay. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa! Mommy is cleaning. This is what you do when you're left alone? You clean? You're crazy. Well, wonderful. Hi. Hi. The child's falling from my arms. Okay, hold on, everybody. I have to put you down. Sorry to put you down, guys. Anyway, it's been a wonderful day. We are very thankful for you. We like you a lot. We're really proud of this one. Every now and again, she gets a day to herself or a Can I give encouragement of the day? I know that I would say 80% of you guys here are female, but for the men or even for you women to share with your husbands. The very few men. Patrick, pretty much you. <laughs> encouragement of the day is to, even though I was telling Philip, I feel really guilty this idea of like, Yes, go take the girls and I'll get some downtime by myself. Um, but encouragement of the day, like force your wife to go like get like a little time by herself. It, yeah. it is really rejuvenating and I'm really thankful that you did that for me. You're very welcome. Love Thank you. you. Go let your love multiply you guys. Have a great night. Bye. Kelly. Kelly Joe, watch out. Watch out, Callie, that's right.